Hello everyone. So today, well, first of all, as you can see, I've got a glorious wall of stuff behind me. Um, because every every YouTube channel that talks about nerdy things needs a wall of stuff. It's actually mandated by federal law. So now I've got a whole bunch of uh, 40k. Uh, I, I got a whole bunch of 40k box art behind me. That's my glorious wall of stuff. Today I wanted to do kind of a continuation of the um, the video I did on the chain sword. I just wanted to continue that series, talking about some fictional 40k weapons and kind of the a little bit of, of science behind them. I don't want to sound like a science expert, but uh, but, but a little bit of, uh, of of kind of what I what I know or have learned. Um, and today I wanted to talk about monomolecular blades. Now, back kind of in the earlier days of 40k writing, any time they wanted to make something, some kind of close combat bladed weapon sound cool, everything had a monomolecular edge. Um, the Space Marine knives had them. I think the Katachan uh, Imperial Guard fighter guard knives they had them, and they don't really do that as much now. And I think the reason they don't, they've changed everything to be mono serrated. And I think the reason they did that is because mono serrated is a glorious piece of military sci-fi techno babble that means nothing. What does it mean? Do they have really, really tiny, like serrated points? But you know, you look at them and they actually are visible. Anyway, or they just have one serrated point. So it's just maybe the tip. Um, anyway, mono serrated doesn't mean anything but monomolecular does and it has a you know an, a meaning that you can easily derive from it um, just based on the the you know the components of the word it's mono it's one and molecular so basically a monomolecular blade is only one molecule thick at the edge and like i said they kind of they kind of stopped using that to describe most blades in the universe they still describe on dark eldar blades is that Dark Eldar are supposed to be these super advanced um, aliens, and so I guess they, they figured it was more people that fans would be more willing to accept that they could have one molecule thick edge to their blades. Um, the question is are monomolecular blades really a thing that we could possibly ever have? Now, uh, I think uh, that maybe the reason they got rid of using that for, for other blade for a lot of blades is because a lot of people would say, you know, that's like, that's silly. You can't really have a blade that's a molecule thick. Well, I mean, obviously we don't with today's technology and steel does not maintain its structural integrity once you get it that thin. It just, it's just gonna crumble. So, so yeah, there's definitely, definitely like with a you know, standard blade, you can't have a monomolecular blade. However, there are instances of getting material to be a sharper blade than you can get with steel or with any of the other metals you know we most commonly use to make our tools um, obsidian is a big example of this a lot of a lot of societies that they did not have the technology for metal tools and weapons used obsidian instead as a replacement and they actually obsidian blades are actually sharper than steel blades. Now, obsidian is harder, but also more brittle than steel. So, so in many ways, it's it's not as useful. But due to the way it's due to the way it's structured, you can get it into a sharper point or sharper edge. Obsidian also, when it's sharpened, uh, they actually chip into it, and it basically breaks to leave the edge. And to leave an edge that's sharper than the steel edge. So, first of all, for a monomolecular blade, one thing to realize is we can have a blades that are sharper than bl blades that we, you know, we commonly use now. However, it's going to have to be made of some pretty exotic material to actually get it down to a monomolecular edge. You couldn't just take modern metal, modern steel, and just really sharpen it and, and get something that sharp. It would have to be a pretty exotic material. Now, of course, Warhammer 40K has ceramite, you know, the fictional material. 
Now, is ceramite metal? I don't know. I don't think they've ever called it metal. A lot of fans assume it's metal. It might actually be designed to be some kind of, you know, ceramic sort of polymer or whatever. Um, so we don't know exactly the properties of ceramite. So we don't know if these blades could be made out of ceramite. Um, but, you know, you consider that we have machines that can work on an atomic level right now. You look at nuclear reactors and things and things that are doing fission and... and yeah, we we can uh, we can work on an atomic level now. So if you really put the uh, the time and energy into it, it's very possible that they could make a machine that can just sharpen a blade down to one molecule. But it would not be easy to have in, to to build a machine and maintain a machine that could do this. I mean, you look at how difficult it is for for countries to develop nuclear power. We've got, of course, in North Korea working a lot on that. Iran working a lot on that right now. It, it takes some some pretty high tech gadgetry to do. So when you're talking about making a bunch of monomolecular blades, also is it a practical thing to do <laughs> for just a weapon? I would say probably not. Even setting aside the whole, you know, the whole bringing a knife to a gunfight, close combat works in 40k. Um, even setting that aside, you're still looking at a knife that is not as effective as a lot of other close combat weapons in the setting. That would require some high-tech machinery to produce some high-tech delicate expensive machinery to produce so unless they come across you know some sort of magic secret some one big secret that makes it really easy somehow to sharpen knives to a monomolecular edge it would seems like a waste of resources for just combat knives now for tools for tools a monomolecular blade could be really useful actually because you know so the whole appeal of course is that this thing is super sharp because the edge is so fine you know basically just you barely touch that thing and you nearly take a finger off and and you actually the the edge would be so fine that it actually would like disappear before you could you, you couldn't see it before it would actually cut you of course the edge is still going to be close to the visible part of the knife because you can't extend that too long you're going to make it really fragile whatever crazy whatever crazy material you're building these fictional knives out of but yeah i could see for tools it coming in in really handy just be able to slice through with this stuff but yeah for combat knives probably not so much compared to all the guns the power swords the things with longer reach the things that can get through armor better in the setting uh, probably not as efficient to make monomolecular edged knives but arguably possible if you have the right materials and you create a machine that can work on a molecular level to sharpen something that's all hope you enjoyed my thoughts